I've done laundry rounds before, I've just never done them in New Zealand. Slightly different. A little bit. I've never done the card thing, I've only done quarters. Yeah. I used to live above a laundromat. Is it loud? No. There's only like three machines and they were always broken. You have powder on your nose. Well, cocaine. No, I was supposed to be told you start that rumor. Never touch the stuff. I'm scared that I will just jump off a roof. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. We're in New Zealand and we can't say why. Enjoy the vlog and please subscribe. Uncut print. <laughs> so hi, I did not explain anything. I haven't talked to you today. I haven't done anything. We didn't work out this morning. We both woke up and we're like, we're lazy today. So we slept in, we hung out. I obviously did my work, my Snapchats, and my vlog. And then we really needed to wash our clothes. Our clothes are just filthy. Are you stopping so we can go in? Yeah. Are you letting me finish? Yeah. That's very nice of you. So we just did nothing and we're gonna swim later, maybe, or work out later, maybe, but we just dropped our clothes off the laundromat and now we're gonna go eat some lunch. It's like 1.30. Hello. Other lesbians stared at me while I was vlogging. <laughs> That was so good. Insane. I'm Your turn. Olympic medalist. Oh my goodness. I took off my makeup. Did I get it all? Yes. We went to the pool for our workout and it was quite nice. I wish I had. Uh... That was so painful. That was mean. That was also me just being clumsy. Dang it! We're getting in bed to watch a movie or a documentary. I gotta set it up. Ugh! My life is so hard. I have to get out of this king size bed to turn on a documentary that I'm choosing to watch. Anyway, I'm sorry, my bad. I wish I had access to a pool because I very much enjoy pool workouts. Um, you don't feel like you're doing that much, but you're working your muscles and your cardio and your lungs and all the things. But uh, just uh, FaceTimed M and we had nachos for dinner. Abby made nachos. Since we're doing dairy, we're like, what dairy things do we really want that we haven't been eating back in the States? and we realized like nachos is one of them. We wanted some nachos, but don't. This may be controversial. You can get mad at me, but you're wrong. Nachos with melted queso. Well, I know it's just another word for co for cheese, but like like the, the melty queso dip kind of cheese, that is oh so superior to the, to the nachos that just have shredded 
cheddar cheese melted on top? Because that's, it, it hardens in like two seconds. What is the point of you? You're only good for maybe a minute and then you're trash after that. And it only hits about 20% surface area of the chips. Cause it's just you're spreading shredded cheese, it's cold on top of the nachos. And then you melt it. it. But it's only touching the, the surface area of the chip that it originally was laid on. But if you have queso, it like melts into the crevices of the yeah, chips. Smooth around. Look at that. We both make very valid points here. So since we've been here, we've been trying to find nachos with good melted queso. Have not been able to find it. We've had queso at several different places and it's no bueno. So we were like, we'll make it ourselves. And by we'll, I mean Abigail, because I will emotionally support, but I am no help in the kitchen in this moment. So we went to the store. They don't sell any of the processed cheeses that you would need for such a thing. So we got like a, a block of cheddar and a block of mozzarella and Abby tried her gosh darn it, darndest to melt it with milk and cream cheese and butter and all the things and nothing was working. It was good. It wasn't, it wasn't the standard that which we hold our nachos. So I, what I'm always shooting for is like the consistency of nacho cheese that you get at the movie theaters. Oh uh, yes. The consistency, not the flavor yeah. and not the color. You do not want bitter orange Cheese. Orange the color of like a crayon. I just orange. want whatever's at Taco Bell. Yeah, basically, yes. That's that's what we want. When we go home and we have a dairy day, we're gonna do this. It's Velveeta's White Blanco Cheese. And it's, you guys know what I'm talking about. It comes in like a rectangle. I'll put a picture here for you. I'm so excited, I can't believe I... Hold <laughs> on, just attacked you. <gasps> so a bug, it's just a fuzz. I'm sorry, what is this? We have been finding black specks oh. in our bed. Oh! Is it your for my socks? For my socks. Don't get free feet pick. Abby just spent a solid few minutes just scraping fuzz out of the bed. But anyway, we've been on a search for good nacho cheese. It doesn't exist here. We tried to make it ourselves. Didn't go well. But we okay. ate some delicious okay. nachos. Okay. Well, I was gonna say, the the making you did great. I loved my meal. Yeah, yeah. It was not what we were like expecting. It was not the meal that we were trying to achieve, but it was a good meal nonetheless. Jesus. I'm gonna say something that I've never said before in my entire life. It needed a little spice. Like a... Uh, like heat, like jalapeno or something. Oh, I wanted to get those at the store, but, and I know you don't care for them, so I wasn't, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna buy like a huge jar of jalapenos. I needed a little spicy. The Taco Bell nacho cheese sauce, yeah. a little spicy. Yeah, no, I totally know what you're saying. So we're gonna do that when we get home. They just don't do, Mark our they words. don't have like the unhealthy foods here that we do back home. No, we need preservatives in order to make this nacho. When we went to the grocery store, <laughs> I, I really wanted, I've been craving macaroni and cheese. Is it on me? Yeah. You're literally, okay. <laughs> you were fully in the frame. I, I've been craving mac and cheese since we got here. So we went to a grocery store and I found just two brands. And I just thought, wow, we, we are not in Kansas anymore. We are not back well, home. Back home, you have so yeah. many choices for all the unhealthy things. But like specifically macaroni and cheese, like I don't know if you have realized this, but if you go to the grocery store- There's like store, 10 versions. I'm gonna say something else is controversial. I don't really like mac and cheese. That, that is- And I know that's weird on me. I know that one is on me. I would say the nacho cheese one, you can't fight us, but I don't like mac and cheese normally, so I have not taken yes, notes. Yes, you do. You do because you like, you like melted cheese and you like macaronis. <laughs> So for you, I don't like mac you and do. Cheese. I don't. I'm not lying to what, you. What, which ones have you had? I've had the Annie's Kraft mac and cheese. I've had like where it's like baked from restaurants, and then I like the crispy part on top of that. I don't like the rest of it. Let me make you Velveeta shells. You can make me whatever you want. I'm telling you, like I don't want you to be disappointed. This is part of who I am. I have not been a huge fan of mac and cheese my entire life. You like cheese. You like melted cheese. You like cheese. I know you like that. I am not. And I know you like. So pasta, is it like it's lacking something? Yeah, it's, it's boring. It's, it's just boring. like okay. too much. So what if I spice cheese. it up for you? It's too much cheese. Please don't come for me. There's a reason it was really easy for me to go dairy free. I love pizza because I, there's a little bit more to it. There's like there's, there's two bread. more. Yeah, there's, there's, more and there's toppings and there's like yeah. the bread is the main. It's the star of the show for me. Give me a carb all day long. I love grilled cheese but it's the bread, like that buttery melted bread. And then it's just like some creaminess inside of it. So like, I don't want the cheese to be the star of the show. The cheese just makes it, that gives it a little creamy aspect. Mac and cheese, it's just like soft noodles with goo on it. But it tastes really good. I literally, it's, it's just, just too like, much. It's the same thing about cereal. Like cereal is Now just... cereal's got a crunch. It's got multiple flavors. 
Frosted Flakes has multiple flavors. You got Frosted, you've got Flake, you got Milk. That's three. Don't. Stop doing your thing. You're trying to be funny and prove your point by being funny. I I just stated a truth and then you refused to okay, accept so you, it. So, you so now I'm just resorting to comedy. Correct. I think it's not enough change up in flavor for me. Okay, what like, if we added something to it? Like peas. Macaroni I don't and cheese like with peas is really peas. good. Oh, you don't like peas that much? Yeah. Also, you could put a little bit of sriracha. I've never had the sriracha in it, but I've had tuna. I've had chicken, I've had peas. It's just not it's my crazy. jam. And like, I know it's a weird thing on my part. I'm not telling everyone else they're crazy. I am crazy. Stop turning it on to me after you talk to get my reaction. <laughs> We're having a conversation. I thought they'd like to look at you while you spoke. Uh, Never mind. All right, we're gonna go watch. <laughs> Don't tickle me. We're gonna go watch a documentary. <laughs> get out of my butt! Get out of you are giving me a wedgie. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera on your Come face. Come here. I need to tell you a secret. What's the secret that you're gonna tickle me? I'm gonna make you like mac and cheese. That's the secret. <laughs> no, I don't like the big whispers. They tickle my insides. They tickle your insides? They can't tickle my emotions. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How are you gonna hold the camera and defend yourself? I don't know. My bad shoulder. You do realize there are a lot of times I could really tickle you and I don't. So I'm gonna be you know, saint here. And you realize there's a hundred percent of the time where you just don't need to tickle me. No. I'm exhausted.